right you hear me now yep yep okay thank you mr presiding officer good afternoon ladies and gentlemen now i invite all members logged in on zoom and facebook live to join me in extending birthday greetings to the following members who are celebrating their birthdays in this month of March. They are as follows, Elvin Osborne Pilgrim, Patricia Mohammed, Nizam Hassan Ali, Savitri Prasad, Allison County, Christine Taylor, Maria Cardenas, Jacinta Elliott, and Marlon Mori. May you all celebrate many more birthdays in good health and strength, and may God never stop showering you with all his blessings and mercy. Happy birthday, dear members, 2023. Mr. Chairman. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> you put up the wrong list of names. <laughs> <laughs> I kept you there. <laughs> thank, you. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Most appreciated. Um, we have with us today members of the of a motivational group who will be sharing some thoughts with us. I will invite um Zakia More to read the instruction, to do the introduction, please. Zakia. Good afternoon, everyone, and how are you all doing? Good afternoon, we are fine. <laughs> it's a pleasure being here. I want to thank my good friend, Mr. Lyndon Gums, for giving me the opportunity to be here this evening to share with you all, and as well as my colleague, Mr. Jason Marcus, taking time off of his busy schedule just to be here. This evening, I have a question for you. Do you think you can move a mountain? Yes, you can. You can move a mountain if you move stone by stone by stone. And for you to do that, you must have faith. I like what Mr. Sugram said when he was speaking before about the creator. We come from a source and it was not by mistake. We were purposefully made for a purpose and a reason. And just as each and every one of us has different fingerprints, each and every one of us is very unique and we have a wonderful purpose that we have to fulfill in this world. You know, and many times we may have dreams, things that we want to accomplish, but you see procrastination, as Edward Young says, procrastination is a thief of time. Because once we procrastinate, then everything gets set on a back burner. I can give you an example, because last year I was on a rhythm for a Soka Parang song, and I was supposed to leave the country. So I kind of put it on the back burner. I didn't leave the country. Then I started performing at my band and still didn't write the song. But I had an idea of what I wanted to write because I said I would write about a friend of mine, you know, a relationship gone sour with a husband and she wanted a new husband for the Christmas. And then an artist from Tobago came up with the 
idea of have, um, having a boyfriend for the Christmas. And I said, oh my God, so it's like my idea just went to somebody else, almost somebody else. So eventually I wrote the song, but then it was written too late because the radio station probably played it about twice. And they promised me this year they're going to play it. Procrastination is a thief of time. So we need to throw procrastination at the back of our shoulders and keep going forward with success. And let me tell you, success loves speed. You see, when you want to accomplish something, don't let anything hold you back. And many times we may say, you know, we may be too old to do something or that time has passed, we cannot do it again. I beg to disagree. My father, he went to university when he was 62 years of age, 62. And it was his dream all his life to go to university. So he saw his dream. So I want to encourage you all this evening, that dream, you see that passion that you have within, that passion that the creator, that the source put within you, when you came on this earth here, right? And when you came, you were equipped with everything that you need to be on this earth, right? Many times people may tell you things like, if you have an idea, you think you could probably get through with that, or that might take so much time, but that hard to do. You see what you have inside here, your passion, Ignite that passion, that spark is what is going to take you places, carry you wherever you want to go. Don't ever let anybody keep you back. And as Denzel Washington says, if you fall seven times, you get up eight times. Nobody's perfect. We're all humans. We all make mistakes. You know, there's, sometimes we don't get through with things that we want to get through with, but we have to keep going, the important thing. And if you remember how it was when we were children, that passion, when you're looking forward to something, you are believing before it can even get into your hands, you're believing what you have, right? Believing it to be true, believing that you're going to get it. This is how it's going to be. Anything that you want, even with, as the, uh, Mrs. Sugram says, Alcoholics Anonymous, put God first and you believe whatever you want to achieve. And you go at it day by day, little by little. You go at it and you're going to get it. And be your own best cheerleader. And also, I want to tell you, you see this, this body that the creator has given you, you won't believe how this body loves you. So you have to love your body back. Every single cell within this body of yours is rooting for you. It's rooting for you in the sense that it's making your heart beat the way it's supposed to beat. Everything from the time you get up, your cells are rooting for you. If it is that you bruise your hand or whatever and you start to bleed, the message goes from one cell to another. And they are rushing down there to make sure that your blood is clot so that you don't bleed. So just to give you an idea, everything that your cell do it in your body is for you. So you've got to love yourself. And don't sit back and depend on other people to love you. It's wonderful and other people love us, but our life does not depend on other people loving us. It is where we are right now does not define where we, what we are or who we are. We have to love the source first, of course, and love ourselves after. When you love yourselves, then you can radiate outwards to everyone else. You must love yourself first. When you love yourself first, then you have the strength to love everyone else. What right? is important, it's not selfish to put yourself first. You have to be strong to be able to lift something else or someone else. So continue to love yourselves, right? And don't beat yourself up if you don't get through with something. Don't beat yourself up. Like I said, we're only human, but you're going little by little, by little, every day, you take your time. And as I said before, you can move a mountain stone by stone by stone. And you'll be surprised if you know that mountain was there. And when you look, that mountain was over there because it's something that you have done. So keep going, keep going, keep going. You know what, I wanna thank all of you all again, your wonderful audience, right? All of you are loved, remember? Every time when you, when you, when you wake up in the morning and you watch yourself in the mirror, so wait now. You know, you, you're really good looking, you know. All of you are beautiful, you know. You're really good looking, you know. My God, look at this wonderful creation God has made. Father, thank you. You need to tell yourself that. Love yourself. And don't be afraid to give yourself a hug, you know. A hug like this. It's nice. Yeah, you can hug everybody else, but hug yourself too. Yourself likes that. And like I told you, every single cell within this body is rooting for you, right? They have you on a pedestal. They are your cells, and you are the most important thing in, in their life. They are rooting for you. Your health holistically, everything, because health is not just physical, it's mental, it's emotional, everything, right? And look towards each day. You know, you, you, you could 
let me tell you something. You see when the day comes, don't just wake up and allow the day to fall onto you. Have a purpose with your day. If it doesn't work out so, that's no problem. You have a creator. He knows what's best. You trust him. But you don't just wake up and allow things to fall on you. You keep going with what you want. I had the opportunity to visit the Eret. That's, that's a place um, up in St. Joseph with hummingbirds. I don't know if anybody ever visited there, but it's a beautiful place. If you haven't visited, please try. When you look at those beautiful hummingbirds, and by the way, we have 19 species, different species of hummingbird in Little Trinidad here, 19 species, right? So when you look at these lovely little birds with their busy little cells and their wings, they are busy doing what they are doing, you know? Nothing is stopping them, you know? They keep going because they know that they have a purpose and a reason here. They know that the creator have them here for their purpose and a reason. So they'll be busy running around pollinating everywhere, right? For all of us in this ecosystem. So I wanna thank you all again for allowing me to share with you in this space, right? And I wish you all all the best. I love these monthly meetings. I keep telling them that I will try my best to be a part of the meeting because I think it's a wonderful, wonderful venture, right? So please continue it and have a beautiful evening. Thank you very much. Well. Mr. Jason, the floor is yours. Good afternoon, everyone. Michelle, I want to agree with everything you just said because when I wake up in the morning, trust me, I love in myself. I tell myself, Jay, today is a good day to have a great day. And you all need to tell yourself that every morning and you need to start off your, your day with that positive energy because think about it. When we wake up every day, we receive gifts. Right, not only on our birthdays or, or Christmas Day or Valentine's Day, every morning we receive gifts. Anybody, anybody mm -hmm. can, can tell me what's the first gift they receive when they wake up in the morning? Life. Exactly. When we breathe that breath of life, that first breath, that's a gift we receive right there. Then we open our eyes, boom, we get two gifts, boom, boom, right there. So imagine if one morning you woke up and you open your eyes and you couldn't see, your, your whole world would be a whole lot differently. Yeah, so we need, to, we need to jump off our bed every morning and love ourselves as Michelle said, and give ourselves that, that personal encouragement. We are our own cheerleader because if we, if we depend on other people to make us happy, then we will be constantly in a state of limbo. Whereas, okay, I'll get up and this person didn't tell me good morning. So you, you start that morning. So you will never, you will never be stable. So you need to personally make yourself happy. That was that was lovely, Michelle. So hi, uh, so I'm Jason Marcus, and we are live from the 868. So this this I say as, as an affirmation. And it, if you know me, when you see me, I Jason, we live. What we do when we live? When I say we are live from the 868, I say that as a as an affirmation to you to live in the moment. When when you're live, when you think about about television or you think about broadcasting, when you're live, everything is happening in the moment right there. You can't change anything. You can't fix it. You can't go back and Photoshop it, edit it, nothing. Everything is happening right there in the moment. So I like to say we are live in the 868, and let's enjoy the moment so so like right now we are live at this this beautiful uh meeting that has been put on by the laramine diabetic support group i'm so happy to be a part of it and thank you mr nizam hassan ali and mr lyndon gum for inviting us to speak and we just have to live in this moment and enjoy it because we don't know what's going to happen two minutes from now when we log off, when we go home. So we need to enjoy that moment right now. So that's why I say we are live from the 868. So I came to speak to you all a little bit about keep going. And it's interesting how that it's uh, Alcohol Anonymous gave a, a talk today. Because sometimes uh, you wanna stop you're alcoholic or you find yourself drinking a little bit too much and, and you want to stop. So you decide, okay, I'm going to stop. So one day you wake up, you, you, you say, I'm not going to have a drink. Day two, day three, you're going good, you know. You start on Monday. 
Monday and drink, Tuesday and drink, Wednesday, Thursday, and then boom, Friday after work, you had a long day, and your partner come and check you. Bro, let me go and, take, let me go and drink a beer now. And you're just totally, you're totally full. And I just want to tell you, just because you, you falter once, that don't mean you need to quit. Because one of the, this quote I was reading from Mr. Napoleon Hill, it says, one of the most common causes of failure is the habit of quitting when one is overtaken by temporary defeat. All right, I'll say that again. One of the most common causes of failure is the habit of quitting when one is overcome by temporary defeat. So on that Friday where you may have, okay, I'll take a drink. That don't mean you're gonna just give up on your journey to sobriety or to, to a better living. That just means, okay, uh, I had a little stumble, a little small defeat on Friday, but I will continue on my journey. So I wouldn't let that, that little speed bump or that little um, pothole just, just make me quit from completely <laughs> going on my journey towards sobriety. So it's just, it's just like with me, I, I, I am an entrepreneur. So I always have ideas, different businesses I wanted to go into. So I remember when I was a couple of years ago, I wanted to start an advertising agency, right? So when I'm driving on the highway from south to north, I always see these billboards. And every time I pass a billboard, you all can do it when you're driving. I just see it as dollar signs. Because one of those billboards was like $30,000 at that time. So I was like, okay, $30,000, $60,000, 90000 So I was like, so why I, can't, why I can't start an advertising agency and put a billboard, right? So I started, I got my name, I created my logo, I started towards registering the company. And then I was overcome, I, I, I came upon a stumbling block as in, but how am I going to get the, the billboard up? I can't weld, I, at that point I didn't know any welders. And that little temporary, that little defeat, that, let, that basically took my, that crashed my whole advertising agency. Because I just let myself at that point in time be overcome that I didn't know any welders, I didn't know how, I was going to get this billboard up on the highway. And that's what we can't let ourselves become. Because at that point in time, the, 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 the issue, the problem may have seemed so big because I was right up, the problem was right up against my face and it was looking like, it was looking like a wave, like a big wave and I couldn't even see over the wave. And sometimes too, we let our feelings in the moment overcome, overcome us. At that point in time, sometimes we just need to breathe. When, when we come to that, that, that problem, that temporary defeat, stop, breathe, and just control your feelings. Take a moment, step back from the problem, you know, put it down, cool your brain, and then come back to it. And you realize, you know what? The problem wasn't, wasn't that bad after all, you know. But at the moment, it happened, and you just get flustered. So that's what I want to tell you. So if you, you are on your way to sobriety and you want to quit drinking and you happen to one day take one drink, don't let yourself just fall or backslide all the way back to where you started. Just stop, breathe, and keep pushing forward into, into your goal. Another, another thing is, is we talk about uh, is fate. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So when we get up in the morning, we don't know what's going to happen that day, but we all get up with a positive energy that, yeah, today is going to be a good day. And if we don't have, if we don't have faith that today will be a good day, then you just might as well stay in your bed, stay in your bed and sleep. I could, I could remember a date, a quick date was... Let me, let me see if, you, if anybody could tell me what happened on this day. 20, 20, the 15th of March. Anybody could tell me what is, what is important about that day that I just called? Uh, I, seen, I seen some comments coming in. Yes, that was the first day that the first case of COVID entered 
into the country, at least the first one that they registered. And it so happened it was at one of my daughter's school. So when we got that call the afternoon, it was a Wednesday, like, okay, we found the first case as a parent at the school. Keep the children home. Before I know it, by the Monday, the whole country was shut down. And at that point in time, I was working in the in the tourism industry, the hotel industry. And boom, country shut down. I believe it was three months at first. So, you know, it wasn't bad because we got to be home um, at the beginning. We didn't know what, what was what was in store for us. So we just feel okay, we home for three months. I just relaxed and every morning I would come out and train with my mom, train with my, my sister. I had some friends who would come over and we had a little group training. And after the three months now, when the country started to open back up, I started thinking to myself, how, how are you gonna pay my bills, boy? Because I still have bills to pay and the hotel was not opening back up. I have no money. The banks still want their money. How I gonna pay my bills? So I started thinking, but I didn't stay in my bed. The main thing you had to keep going, you can't give up. No. You can't give up. So I started thinking, what am I gonna do? Then somebody told me about food drop. I said, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try food drop. Sign up with food drop. Uh, so I'm doing food drop. And the thing about food drop, unless you did it before, you, you wouldn't really know, but um, you, you have, there's an app that's on your phone. But with food drop, you need to have the fastest fingers in the world. Because if your fingers not fast, imagine about 10, a thousand people trying to get the same drop just like you. So you had this phone and you're just watching it. And as soon as it go, bing, you, you, had to, you had to be so quick. Otherwise, you lose that drop. So sometimes I would park up under a tree. At a cool spot, pack up under the tree, waiting for that for my phone to bing. Boom, one thing, click it. Ah, I get. Because after a while, let's get practice with that speed. Get that, get that food drop. When I check, it's like eighteen dollars. Imagine waiting for two hours and making, and your first job for the morning is eighteen dollars and twenty five cents. That alone will make you want to go back in your bed and sleep, you know, because you're thinking. But I come out my bed, the the. The gas I spend to leave my house to park to reach under this tree five minutes away, probably more than that $18.25. But guess what? I didn't give up. I take my $18 and I go and back under my tree and I wait for my next one. So no matter what situation you're in that you may be going through, I just want to tell you, do not give up. It may be a temporary defeat you're at right now, just take a while and just step back from the problem and there is a solution. You, you, may, you, you may want to ask help from somebody to help you find a solution because they may see, see something that you don't see. But the main thing is to don't give up, right? Just have faith that you're going to figure it out. Because sometimes I, I have bills and I don't even know how I go and pay some of my bills at the end of the month. Because I, I, I don't work for a consistent salary. So I don't, know, don't expect, I don't know, okay, at the end of the month, I, I'm making 10,000 or 5,000. No. I know how much bills I have at the end of the month, though. <laughs> but I don't know how much I'll make in that month. But I wake up every day and say, Jay, today is a good day to be a good day. And it's going to be better than yesterday. And I jump off the bed with that energy because I don't get my gifts, you know. So from the time you get off your bed, you don't have your gift. So you're supposed to get off your bed with a smile. How, now how I'm going to attack this day now? How am I going to make today better than yesterday? Because we don't know what tomorrow holds, but we know what happened yesterday, right? So all we could do is make today better than yesterday for a better tomorrow. And be live in the 868, live in the moment, and you'll get through. Trust me, whatever you going, may be going through right now, you will get through. Just don't give up, have faith, and stick with that positive energy because the universe is a very, a very generous to us. Once we ask for it, we put, we say, universe or, or whoever is your creator, you speak to them and say, I want this, and you will achieve it. All right. So y'all, it was lovely. Thanks for having me. I just want to say a special thanks again to the Laramine Diabetic Support Group. This this is a real nice initiative and this is the first time 
that I'm here, Michelle Raymond told me about it. And when she told me, I jumped on the opportunity. I said, that sounded like fun. And I was, trust me, I was so sad when she told me that it was going to be hybrid. I'm like, Michelle, hybrid? Exactly. I, if, if, she, if she's right here. Exactly. I, was like, I was like, I don't feel I want to go, you know. And that hybrid thing, I, I just like to be, be around the people. I like to feel that energy. But I still, I say, you know what? We still doing this. We not, we, I'm not gonna let that temporary defeat. Imagine if I said, oh, we're not doing it hybrid. And I didn't, and I didn't come. I wouldn't get to hear all this, all this positive information from Mr. Sugrim. And I wouldn't have gotten to speak to y'all. So I didn't let that temporary defeat because they were, whatever they were doing at the, the health center, stop me from coming here and speaking to y'all. So y'all don't let any little temporary defeat stop y'all from keep going. Don't give up. Thanks for having me. And I hope you'll have a wonderful Saturday afternoon. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jason and Michelle, for those positive vibes. I mean, I am feeling the vibes. Eh? It is really, really positive and, and motivating. Thank you all very much for being here with us this afternoon. And just to let you know that during the entire pandemic, we have not stopped our meeting. We have had a meeting every month since the pandemic started. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you again. Thank you. All. It's a pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you very much. All right. So we um